So far, no reports of anyone in Kent County who died because of this weather. 13 on your side reporter Phil Dawson joining us now to explain why the coordinated response film may be the reason. Nick, to respond to this weather crisis, Kent County organized what they call an emergency operations center. Representatives from police, fire, medics, Red Cross, Road Commission, all in one room, coordinating the deployment of their resources, and leaders say this strategy is succeeding. You'll hear a lot of that. Phones are ringing. My name is Lieutenant Lewis Hunt, and I'm the emergency manager for the County of Kent. You have a lot of people with different skill sets, but it's a team. It really is a team. The North Rockford one has not made it yet. The team is the Kent County Emergency Operations Center, created to coordinate the county's response to the recent snow and ice storms and assist tens of thousands of people without electricity. It is something that we started for this event. Certainly power outages are not new in West Michigan. But once we realized how long this was going to be, we knew we had to get coordinated. The coordination is between a lot of different groups, public health, police, fire, EMS, Kent 911. We've had the Road Commission here, the American Red Cross. Why do you think this is a better approach than what has been done in the past? I think it's, it probably has a lot to do with all of our partners and the coordination. We have tremendous resources in Kent County, and the individuals are tremendously skilled. So when you bring that together, it's a significant force. We made a decision to activate our emergency operations center. The city of Grand Rapids also has an emergency operations center. We have really liaisoned with the city of Grand Rapids. The two groups are working together to keep people without power safe. One of the biggest is sheltering. Sheltering is one of the biggest issues. What we like to say is our greatest metric is that we don't believe we've had any storm-related deaths at this point. A lot of people doing a lot of good work. And now that they've seen how well the Emergency Operations Center is working during this weather crisis, leaders say they think it could be just as effective during any hazardous or emergency situation. Nick? No, that's all good stuff, Phil. Thank you.